Let's write a C program to print prime factors of a number using functions. So the problem statement is a positive integer number is entered through the keyboard by the user. We need to write a function to obtain the prime factors of that user entered number. For example, prime factors of 24 are 2, 2, 2 and 3 whereas prime factors of 35 are 5 and 7. So if we multiply 2, 2, 2 and 3 we will get 24 and if we multiply 5 and 7 we will get 35. So if we observe closely 24 as well as number 35 are not even prime numbers okay but their factors are all prime numbers that is 2, 3, 5 and 7 all these are prime numbers okay. So let me take an example let us take this number 24 itself. So if we modulo divide 24 by first prime number that is first prime number is 2 and we reduce the number 24 by dividing it by 2 we will put all these two logic inside while loop. So 24 is divided 3 times by 2 and then we go to next number that is next prime number that is 3. So 3 ones are 3. So we need to take all these factors 2, 2, 2 and 3 and multiply it and we will get 24 which is user entered number. So 24, uh, the, so the prime factors of 24 is 2, 2, 2 and 3. So we need to divide that is modulo divide this number by prime numbers from smallest prime number 2 and then 3 and then 5 and then 7, 11, 13 and so on. So here is our logic for loop and while loop. So we'll start a count loop counter by 2 which is smallest prime number. So let us check this logic that is while loop first. So our number is 24 modulo divided by 2. Yes it divides so we print 2 and then divide 24 by 2. Let's let's keep track of num and count now. So num is 24 count is 2. So the while loop 24 modulo divided 2 yes it's possible so print 2 and divide 24 by 2 we will get 12 so num is 12 now now 12 modulo division 2 yes it's possible so print 2 and then divide number by count which is 2 that is 12 divided by 2 is 6 so 6 is num now now 6 modulo division 2 yes it's possible it's perfectly divisible by 2 so print 2 so the logic inside while loop print 2 yeah now num divided by 2 that is 6 divided by 2 is 3 so num is 3 now 3 modulo division 2 is not equal to 0 so exit while loop check for loop now now increment the count value by 1 so count is 3 now so while loop num is 3 modulo divide by 3 yes it's possible so print 3 now divide num by count so 3 divided by 3 is 1 now while loop num is 1 count is 3 1 modulo division 3 is not equal to 0 so exit while loop check for loop now the condition num is greater than 1 which is false so exit this for loop so we get the prime factors 2 2 2 and 3 okay multiply all these numbers 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 which is equal to 24 so prime factors of number 24 is 2, 2, 2 and 3. Observe this logic. Based on this logic itself, we will be writing our code. Okay. So observe here, count started from 2, which is smallest prime number, but we are incrementing count value by 1 for each iteration of this for loop. So that is natural numbers from 2. But if we divide the number by 2, n number of time until it's divisible perfectly divisible the numbers 4 6 and 8 10 12 all these numbers get eliminated because we have divided modulo divided number by 2 as many times as possible now the next number is 3 so once we div modulo divide number by 3 all the other numbers like 6 9 12 etc get eliminated because Already our number is divided by 3 as many times as possible. 
So let me write the C program now. I'll take an integer variable called num. I'll ask the user to enter a positive integer and store it inside the address of integer variable num. Now let me directly call a method prime factors and pass the user enter number. So let me directly define this function prime factors. Since I am writing uh, the definition of prime factors before my main function, I need not specify the prototype and all. Okay, Our method doesn't return anything, so the return type is void. I'll take an integer variable as input here, which is num, which is local variable to prime factors function. So I'll take another variable, local variable count for loop counter. I'll assign two to count the lowest prime number. So I'll leave this condition empty now. For each iteration of this for loop, I'll increment the value of count by one. Now inside for loop, I'll check if number modulo division count is equal to zero inside of while loop. Inside this, if it's true, I'll print the value of count and then reduce the value of num by writing num is equal to num divided by count. So this while loop keeps on iterating until num modulo division count is not perfectly divisible. That is num modulo division count is not equal to zero. Now the condition num should be greater than one until then this for loop gets executed. Remember we reduce the value of num inside while loop num is equal to num divided by the value of count. So that's it. That's the logic for this entire program to get prime factors of a user entered number. So I'll give 24. So prime factors are 2, 2, 2 and 3. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 is 24. Let me give 35 now. So prime factors are 5 and 7. 5 into 7 is 35. Uh, let me give a bigger number here this time around. So let me compile and execute it. I'll give maybe 315. So 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 is again 315. Let me show that to you. 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 is 315, which is user entered number. So prime factors of 315 is 3357. So this is how we find prime factors of a user entered number using functions. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online using WhatsApp, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.